Hi, my name is uh, Huawei Zhou. I'm from Computer Science Department. This is a collaboration with uh, Professor Steve Jiang from the School of Medicine. So when a patient uh, is diagnosed, uh, you know, unfortunately with cancer, there are basically three major treatment. One of them is radiotherapy. So radiotherapy basically is to try to kill the cancer cells with high energy radiation. And um, um, actually every year, about uh, one million of patients are treated uh, with uh, this radiotherapy. Actually compared to like other treatments such as chemotherapy, uh, radiotherapy usually has less side effects because it's, uh, you're actually uh, uh, trying to target uh, really the, basically the tumor. But uh, basically, uh, I think it's different from like a computer game like a laser gun. So actually, with the radiation, you have to, have to be really, really cautious. So you have to basically do really, um, basically, it's actually a lot of um, computation to. Com to decide what is the, you know, basically the, the anger to do the base, uh, radiotherapy and uh, what is the strength for each beam. So, um, so you basically you need to load the patients actually three D based all, from all kinds of anger the images, and then you have to basically uh, know what is the organ's position. This actually this process is a little still a little bit manual. The doctor actually need to basically uh, you know try to decide uh, basically give the input where is the position of different organ. And then you're trying to, based on the patient's actual health condition, you're trying to compute what's the best way, what's the best angle, what's the, the strength. And it's so because you don't want to damage the organs you know, on, the, on the way. So basically, this is actually very computation intensive. And, um, and so actually right now, it's not very efficient. So it takes, even if it uh, takes actually a few days for the plant to come back, and the, Doctor needed a physician needs to make some adjustment of the parameters. So the whole process may take a one or two weeks. Actually, after a couple of weeks, the patients sometimes lose uh, lose weight. So the the shape change, the organ position may also change. And another problem is actually with the variation. So depending on the basically it's actually the clinic or if it's a remote uh, city. Um, not, uh, they may not have the most advanced equipment, and also the attendants, uh, the physician or the planner may not be that experienced. So in this case, actually, the, the actual patients may not get uh, the best treatment. So um, actually, for me, I have this personal motivation. My father actually passed away last year because of cancer, and uh, he lived in a small city in China. So I, unfortunately, I'm actually a computer scientist. I cannot uh, do much. So we basically, to improve the situation, uh, I'll skip the slides. We actually threw two types of technology into the problem. Uh, one is the GPU, graphics processing unit. Basically, you have in Xbox, you know, PlayStation, all those game machines. The other one is cloud computing. So with the GPU, we can really basically so actually accelerate um, the um, compu computation. So you can quickly actually reach the basically plan within uh, probably just uh, um, what, maybe a few minutes. Okay, with the cloud computing, actually, you can really try to share the data, share the experience. Actually, you can do data mining and they recommend basically as a physician with a, maybe actually uh, some successful treatment based on the maybe similar uh, pa previous patients with a similar kind of body shape and a similar kind of uh, sort of health condition. So. Um, Basically, the, our goal basically is really trying to uh, speed up the process and also do automatic uh, actually uh, recommendations. So my time is up. Thank you.